Thank you, mga ma'am and sir. Follow-up video po natin sa first vlog natin. So, we have constructivism. Our given definition is to allow students to create ideas, concepts, based on students' experiences. Paano natin matulungan mga learners natin na makabuo ng konsepto base sa experience kung walang activity? And so, we have to provide a real life experience or real life activities. Ito po yung tinatawag natin na authentication. So, sa so authentication, dito makita ng mga skills, talents, and abilities ng ating mga learners. Ang tawag po natin dyan ay portfolio. So, do not forget what is portfolio. Dito po, ito po yung skills, talents, and abilities. So, mga activities natin we have problem-based, project-based, and inquiry-based. Limit lang po tayo sa tatlong based na ito po. Okay, huwag po tayong magdagdag ng ibang based. Sa problem-based, makabuo ng konsepto si learner kung mag-provide tayo ng mga rule-playing or dramatization that present a problem. Like, you will assign a group task to your students about drug addiction. So, this will be presented before the class and in this way, you help a learner to create ideas and he will be guided or self-directed in making decisions. So, no need na na ma-experience ang lahat ng problema sa mundo para masabi na I am an experienced person. Kasi through the experience of others, it is a big help to facilitate him and guide him in his decision making since life is full of problems. Yan ang reason why we have many math subjects. It is not the right answer. It is how you come up with a solution para, para paraan eka nga. Sa pangalawa naman class, o oh mga mam and sir, we have a project based. Halimbawa si teacher, ang i-assign niya is how to come up a creativity using newspaper. So, the group assigned may think of a paper vase or a flower. Through this, they will become creative and imaginative out of the box. Eka nga. So, we facilitate them to develop the skill or talent they have. Kaya nga, yung iba, they, they are surprised na may talent palang nakatago. No? Dahil sa activity na you provided. Sa inquiry naman, you may assign a group to have a reporting or present a research study. And so, magtatanong si teacher or mga estudyante with regards to the research they presented. Yung presenter naman, makaisip pigla ng mga sagot sa, ta sa tanong. So, sila mismo na presenter, makabuo sila ng mga idea. And same thing is true in the part of the audience. So, itong tatlo, para maging convincing Ang group assigned to them, it requires cooperation or collaboration. So, itong tatlo, uh, there is cooperation or collaboration. Kaya napapansin natin sa mga previous question, may tanong na, what is the characteristic of constructivism? Ang sagot, mga maman sir, is yes. Tama po kayo, collaboration. Napansin natin na may connection tayo, may gikonek tayo, sa scaffolding no? from constructivism to scaffolding ang scaffolding ay coined by Jerome Brunner siyang nag-theory nito theorized nito pero gidevelop ni Vygotsky so bakit napasama sa scaffolding when we say scaffolding it is to facilitate po pero paano tayo mag-facilitate or mag-assist through appropriate assistance Ulitin ko po, appropriate assistance or right amount of is, um, of scaffolding. Hindi sobra at hindi rin labis. So, kung mag-facilitate tayo sa constructivism, kailangan talaga ang right amount or appropriate assistance. Kaya nga, may connection si constructivism at si scaffolding. Anyway, gagawa tayo ng video dito na ang topic is more of scaffolding. Ngayon ang tanong natin mga ma'am and sir, pwede ba na mag-memorize sa constructivism? 
Ang sagot is, tama po kayo, hindi. Kasi ang memorization is automated or root system, walang construction of concept and ideas. Sa memorization, same thing is true with laws, facts, at lalong hindi naman pwede sa time-tested principles, hindi po pwede. So, anong po pwede sa constructivism? Ang hypothesis, kasi guessing siya, ang mga problems, cases, issues, ito ay mga po pwede. So, ang po pwede lang po ha, ay hypothesis, mga problems, cases, issues. Ito yung mga po pwede. Another question na naitanong na rin sa board exam, what is the end purpose of constructivism? Okay, nakita natin. Uh, the end purpose of constructivism. Ano kaya? Mga sagot natin mga maman, sir. Yes, self-directed and discovery. Bakit po? Nalala niyo yung explanation natin sa problem-based. The child will discover his talent based on the task given to him. Kaya pasok ang discovery. Mga maman, sir, isa ulo ang definition ng constructivism kung maaari. Kasi dito nakasalalay ang ating pagsagot sa mga let questions. Once ma-master niyo to, sure ako mas mapadali ang pagsagot ninyo. Okay, dito tayo sa ating rationale. Sa panong sa 58, teacher fee avoids out of context drills. Instead, she makes use of real world application for her students to solve. This makes her blank in approach. Ano kaya yung sagot natin dito? Yes, tama po kayo. Kasi si Teacher Fee, iniwasan niya yung mga out of context, context drills, yung hindi konektado, uh, hindi konektado sa subject at hindi rin siya at uh, yes, hindi konektado sa subject. So, ang sa kanya is more of real world application. So, the answer is constructivism approach. Uh, by the way, itong 59, naligaw lang ito. The idea of revisiting and elaborating to the level of understanding is achieved through. Pero kung sasagutan natin, okay, this is by Jerome Broner. Ang sagot nito is, ano po? Yes, spiral curriculum. Uh, pag sinabi kasi nating spiral curriculum, it is progressive po eh. Ang purpose nito is for mastery. Kailangan yung elementary subject, uh, bago tayo mag, mag-discuss sa, sa science and technology sa grade 7, i-connect natin yung elementary science sa, first, sa, sa science and technology. Tapos bago tayo mag-biology, yung elementary science and yung, yung science and technology, i-connect natin sa biology and so on. The purpose is for mastery. Next, we have number 16. To learn complex subject matter, it is most effective to blank from information experience. So, anong sagot natin dito? Okay, para mas maging effective siya. Okay, yes, tama po kayo. It is constructivism. On transferring learning, how will you classify the presentation of a research study by an invited social researcher discussing the effect of social media on Facebook users? Ano kayo yung maging sagot natin dito, mga memen, sir? Yes, transferring learning. So, this is possible. You can transfer learning to the student by asking them. Okay? Gamit ang inquiry-based. Okay, salamat sa inyong panunood. Natapos din natin ng constructivism. Sana... Uh, naunawaan po ninyo kasi ang mga tanong sa board exam mabibilang lang ang word for word halos rephrase ang mga tanong so dito tayo nawawala so para hindi ma- mawawala we need to understand the theories, concepts mga terms, methods and more especially mga principles of learnings please subscribe po para sa susunod nating mga uploads Monotify po kayo. Asahan ninyo na mas maging makabuluhan po ang ating panahon kung dito tayo magbabad sa mga uploaded prof ed discussion. Please 